Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney and I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 14 of Voice Lessons to the World, the show where we want to help you guys as singers by answering your questions on singing from all over the world. I'll give you a chance to ask questions later, but our question for the week comes from Adrian S. in East Lansing, Michigan. And Adrian writes, Dear Justin, I'm a voice teacher and I have a lot of young male teenage singers whose voices have just changed and who have a lot of problems singing high notes. Their ranges are very small. Is this physical or is this mental? That's awesome, Adrian. Uh, congrats on being a voice teacher and you know I love that. And uh, teenage guys um, have notoriously a lot of problems with their voices. There's a lot of cracking going on at that age and a lot of crazy stuff is, is happening. And uh, we'll talk about that and hopefully find some stuff that can be helpful for people of all ages. But um, your question, is it physical or is it mental? It's actually both uh, for teenage guys. And um, let's first talk about why it's physical. Uh, the larynx, when you're a teenager, um, and when you're a real young person is not as developed as it is when you get older. One of the reasons is that it's made up of cartilage and cartilage that thickens over time. It calcifies and thickens. So when you're a teenage boy, uh, it's, it's very much not thickened uh, as much as it will be. So you don't have as great of laryngeal stability as you're gonna have. So that's, that's one reason that teenage guys have so many cracking problems and also such a limited range sometimes. It's just that lack of stability. Also at that age, you know the muscles aren't as developed you know that there's a huge difference between say a college freshman who's like 19 and you know maybe a 13 year old boy that we're talking about here uh, in terms of muscularity typically very very thin and not very muscular whereas in a few years there's a lot more musculature same thing is going to be true for the vocal muscles so when we're talking about an age where you had, you know, just a year ago, somebody saying, hello, my name is Tommy. And then, you know, two weeks later, they say, hey, what's going on? My name is Tom. And it's just, it blows your mind how fast that voice changed. You know that you're going to have a volatile physical situation, but probably a volatile emotional situation. Now, this is the age because so many crazy things are going on uh, with the voice and with the body uh, that people start to get a little bit, you know, shy. They try to play it cool, and these teenage boys who a second ago were like this, and now are all cool. This is partly the reason why you can't sing high notes is because they, they've just found their voice, and they want to you know, show that they're macho and show that they you know, are, are, are a man, even though they're 13 years old. So that's where the mental stuff comes in. There becomes a shyness about... Uh, using the voice and going to high pitches. There's the fear of cracking uh, and then there's the trying to be macho um, when you're, you're sorting stuff out uh, emotionally and mentally. So you've got a couple factors working there uh, against you, Adrian, as you teach young guys how to sing high. But the first thing I want to help you with uh, as an exercise is get your guys to sing in falsetto. And, and teenagers, if you're watching this or people uh, of any age, Go ahead and develop your falsetto because that's going to give you greater flexibility. Now it takes a little bravery if you're not used to it, but we want to develop a good falsetto so that you can find greater flexibility for your chords. So let's do an exercise here. Try this sound for me. Just say like you're at a celebration or something. Woohoo! Go ahead. That's great. Woohoo! Now, if you're a teenage guy, make sure you didn't go, woohoo, woohoo, okay? No, no cool, no cool teenagers. Let's be a dork, woohoo, good stuff. Now, that is flexibility. That's gonna help you to get a little extra stretch for your voice. Now, if you're man enough, let's see if you can do this following exercise with me. Woo, go ahead. Great. That's it. Woo! Woo! Great job. Woo! That's it. Woo! Nice. 
If we still got men, let's hear this one. Awesome. And coming down. Totally awesome. So, I hope you guys were man enough to go up there in your falsetto and stretch things out. Now, Adrian, that's another thing. You could tell how ridiculous that was right there, how silly, how weird. When you're a teenage boy, that's hard to do. It's hard to break out of your comfort zone, but that's actually exactly what you need to do. If you have voice students that uh, are shy and are trying to play it cool, make up some dorky exercises. Make, make people feel like they can take risks, like they can make mistakes, like they can do some silly and goofy stuff to break out of that comfort zone. Because that's probably at an age where you're playing it cool, the only way that you're going to bust through whatever mental blocks that you have, which are also preventing the physical flexibility that we're looking for. Another thing for teenage guys is you know, because there's no larynx stability, this is another physical thing, uh, the larynx is going to be through the roof if they try to hit high notes. They're, they're not going to be able to keep it down. So you want to encourage a low larynx. If you're working on a song like Carl Mio Ben, a uh, classic, classical uh, Italian art song, you know, you want them to do... Caro mio ben, credi mio ben. But what's going to happen is... Caro mio ben, credi mio ben. And you're going to get that high larynx and that squeeze and probably even breathiness too. That's what's going to happen. But still encourage them to have a deeper larynx. You don't want to shove it down, but watch that because there's going to be tons and tons of larynx lift because the larynx is not yet developed. So do some lower larynx and deeper exercises. And on that note, encourage a lot of different styles, including classical. Most uh, teenage people you know, they like pop and they like rock and they like what is cool and what's hot right now. Let them do those styles. That's, that's awesome. We want to be encouraging of stylistic uh, versatility, but encourage your guys to do a little bit of classical singing. That's going to help them get a sense of a low larynx. When you can keep your larynx calm and low, you get more flexibility and you actually develop a greater high range. So you want them to be able to do just a little bit of classical if you can encourage them to do that. And then also some low larynx stuff and then finally, Adrian, um, and, and all teachers that are teaching young people or all young singers who are working out their voice and their range, patience. Big time. Patience. I promise you, if you're a 13, 14 year old singer, or if you've got a 13 or 14 year old uh, voice student, it's going to be a lot of inconsistencies. It's just the same reason that, you know, two weeks ago, you had this voice, and now you have that voice your body's changing so much, your voice is changing so much, you can't expect your voice to just be doing what you want and the muscles to do what you want just every single time. You gotta give it, you gotta give it a chance. So you might have a great vocal day one day, you might have a terrible vocal day the next. You might have a great voice lesson one day, either teaching or having lesson, you might have a bad voice lesson the next week. That's just to be expected when people are going through that many changes. So just keep patient with yourself as a teacher or as a young singer going through that process of developing those vocal muscles at such a young age. So I hope that's been helpful for you guys uh, as singers and as voice teachers today. If you have questions that you want to see us answer on the show, you can send an email to questions at voicelessonstotheworld.com. And we just encourage you not to lose that joy and that passion, whether you're a teacher or a singer. Get with a great voice teacher in your area like Adrian from East Lansing. And if you're in New York, you can check us out at www.newyorkvocalcoaching.com. If you like these videos, you can check out www.voicelessonstotheworld.com. I'm Justin Stoney. We'll see you next time.